It's a great big storm which is going to redistribute the carts in the next three days, closing the entrance door to the Pacific from the south of Australia to the Antarctic, with winds up to 60 knots and 10 meter high waves. It should pass on quickly, but it's going to be violent. We're expecting gusts of up to 50 to 60 knots. It's sure that with SMA we're better positioned than Yan, for instance. These are violent phenomena, speed up below New Zealand, right there below New Zealand, at the bad time, shall we say. So you're going to have to manage, no fooling around. Wind is going to pick up quickly, so I'll need to be able to lower the sails fast without any hitches. In facing this rough weather, Yann Elias, Jean-Pierre Dic and Jean Le Cam have taken radically different options. Jean Le Cam remains southward while slowing down. Jean-Pierre Dic is intending to cross the Bass Strait. Yann Elias is still in the center. Well, all this is starting to weigh on me. I'm sick and tired of having to manage these kind of situations. While my buddies, they don't bother with those things, those considerations. Well, that's the way it is, huh? 2,400 miles onwards, all is well for the two skippers in the lead, Armel Leclerc and Alex Thompson, in the most tactical duel. But in terms of strategy, the coming days are going to be a little, hmm, let's say, complicated. Gonna switch rhythms a little, change to a calmer mode, which will allow me to breathe, to rest, and do some maintenance. There are a couple little things to attend to. Nothing too serious, but I'm gonna have to do it. So the boat is 100% effective for what's to come next. 12,500 kilometers away, Romain Tanazio is back in the match. Oh, my friends, moving along, reaching at 35 knots. 35 knots of winds. And the boat is at 22, 23 knots. I'm going to shorten the sails a little because we've got to preserve the equipment. We're in the south. It's windy and it's cold. 